be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, Grande Gato, also known as the big cat. My cookie, the What's up? If you're rocking with the big cat today, we're here to talk with the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> Kicking the tires on an old idea, a familiar face, old face, and a familiar place. Mm. Should the Carolina Panthers entertain, possibly bringing back K1 short? We'll talk about it, but first, before we get started, do you love the Carolina Panthers? Like I love the Carolina Panthers. Yes, no. Maybe, I, I don't know, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm just hating, that's what I'm doing. Do you like the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? <laughs> if you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, put your paws up. K1 is short. Friendly deal? Or does this not make any sense? We'll talk about it. Let's get into it. Pow! Ooh. <laughs> oh. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ding! Listen, man, if you're here, you're here for a reason. You like the content, you like me, you think I'm funny, you think I'm entertaining, or you like the factual actuals that I'm bringing to this thing. <laughs> so while you're here, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button, turn that notification to all. Come on, let's do it together. Let's take our big finger, hold on. Let's take our big finger, I like this finger. Use that finger, hit subscribe. Let's turn the notification all the way up. All right, <laughs> shout out to all the sponsors in the, uh, in the description below. Be sure to check those guys out. Uh, shout out to FanFan Network, FTFN on YouTube, FanFanNetwork.com. 32 Fan Network, get the real from fan perspective. And be sure to check out uh, Keep Pounding TV on Patreon. I just dropped a video, Five Reasons Why the Carolina Panthers Will Make the Playoff. That's exclusively to Patreon. Go over there, check it out. Yes, no, maybe. The, the, look, the link is in the description. Just click that on Patreon. Now, with that being said, the Carolina Panthers are flirting with bringing back K1 short. You, you want my opinion? You want to know how I feel? Well, uh, it make no sense. that's right. It's not even, it's, listen, it's not even coming from a place of malice. This is coming from a, pa a place of uh, logical tracking. You know, we are, we're, you know, up in our front office. I'm part of the front office. In my head, I'm part of the front <laughs> You know, we like to do analytics and data. Uh, analytics and data says the defensive tackle over 30 who's coming off of two years of straight injury. Well, my data and analytics tell me, uh, it make no sense. when you look at that, can you believe that? This move makes no sense because think about this. It, this, this is real, really puzzling. Obviously nobody else wanted to pick him up. And like I said, KK is a phenomenal guy, great guy. Uh, I got a chance to meet him one time. Um, you know what I mean? Listen, good guy. A lot of people say they see him around Charlotte. Nothing bad to say about him, you know, personally. It's never personally. Um, when it comes to far as him production on the field, his production on the field, he's a little over the hill. I, I, I did a great, great graphic where I showed you guys Hello We Nada and Hello We Nada when he made five straight Pro Bowls. And then once he hit 30, he was getting passed around like a Newport in jail. You know what I mean? He just, because nobody wanted him. He was getting older. He couldn't produce. Now you're talking about potentially bringing back a guy with this kind of injury history for the last two years. Even if it is, a, it's not about the money. Even if it is on a friendly deal. Like this move puzzles me because you let a guy who who's older and Zach Kerr. <laughs> Zach Kerr probably had one of the fucking best seasons of his year. You let this guy walk. <laughs> One more time, NBA young boy. Tell him what it makes. Uh, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. You let this guy walk, who stay healthy and produce, and you're talking about bringing back a guy. And even if it is on a team-friendly deal, you know what I mean. I get it. You know what I mean. Nice guy. And I tell you this: if he come back and he's super, super motivated and he does stay healthy. And you get them for the cheap, well, you just won the GM of the year. You just won the head coach of the year for making that move. You know what I mean? But one thing I do know is Father Time is undefeated. F 
Father Time is undefeated, okay? Listen, man, I would love for him to come back. You know what I mean? I think he's one of the original Carolina Panthers that, you know, that, that is a fan, you know, one of fan favorites. You know what I mean? And he's produced. You know what I mean? He has produced in the past. But it, it's time to start kind of drawing the line in the sand. You know, this is a business decision versus a personal decision. If, if it was a personal decision, shit, you'll bring back a lot of Panthers. You would have brought back Thomas Davis. You would have brought back Cam Newton. You would have brought back uh, uh, Josh Norman. If it was strictly about, you know, personal, we love you and we want to honor you kind of shit, we would have never let Greg Olson walk. We would have brought back all those guys. But when it comes to business, this won't be a good business sense. Uh, listen, unless, man, unless you get them for the cheap, cheap. And I mean the cheap, cheap. I mean, shit, man. You might have to make rookie minimum, man. No joke and no disrespect either. But uh, I don't get it, you know. I, I, ju I just don't get it. it. It doesn't make any sense to me um, what reason you're bringing them back. And when you look at our depth chart now, man, I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good here. I mean, you got Derek Brown in there. You got Daquan Jones. I feel like we can hold our own, man. I feel like we can hold our own. We don't have a true, true veteran. If you want to, let's take a look at it. Hold on. Let's put it back on the screen, y'all. Brave Young Roy, he's up and coming. Daquan Jones, I guess he's he's a solid veteran. Derek Brown. Davion Nixon is the guy who we like gets the run. I don't know much about Mike P uh, Panuski. Don't know much about him, and I don't know much about Phil Hoskins. But between Daquan Jones, Brave Young Roy, and Derek Brown, I mean, I can see why you want to bring one more piece. Now that you say that, I just don't know if he's the piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? No disrespect, man. I try not to be disrespectful, man. It's just not a move I'm willing to gamble. If I was going to gamble on somebody, I'm gambling on Zach Curry for another year. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you like this, guys. I'm your host, the Grenade Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up if you rock with the Big Cat. This move to me, ultimately, NBA Young Boy, help me out one more time. Uh, it makes no sense. Makes no sense. And, uh,. You know, I, I get it. You know, Scott Fitter strikes me as the kind of guy who wants to, he wants to squeeze a fucking penny out of a fucking paper clip. You know what I mean? He wants to get the most value out of everything and every situation. But you know, sir, and then I mean this respectfully, sometimes you can be too smart for your own good. Sometimes being smart is knowing when to back out. You know, you got that guy who always at the card table trying to find ways to amp up the goddamn bet, ante up and shit. Find ways. Oh, I think he's bluffing. And blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, your ass get hit with some kind of mother. Boom! God damn, he got a full. He got a full deck on me. He got a full. He got a full house on my ass. Now you lose everything. So sometimes being smart, you just gotta back away and stop trying to find the ways. You're not gonna reinvent the fucking wheel. You're not gonna goddamn reinvent father time and logic. Okay. You know you love people, and I know you, you can get them on veteran minimum, but that doesn't mean y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all get in the comment section, tell me how I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> get in the comment section, tell me how I'm a piece of shit. Don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Just a fucking hater. Y'all do that for me, all right? And just send me your money. I'm your host, Grand Conto. I saw those big cats. My cool cat, put your paws up. You rocking the big cat. Carolina Panthers, uh, K1 short. How do you guys feel? Do you think we should bring him back? Does it make sense to you? Or does logic and history show you that players, and more specifically linemen over 30, tend to, uh, you know, don't have a high production? Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say. Let the church say, pause up. Carolina on top. Forever. I like to take the time to thank the Keep Pounding Underscore TV Patreon membership sponsors below. It is because of your contribution we have to create quality content. Please consider joining the channel. The link will be in the description. Don't miss out on your chance for watching morning live streams, film study, and much more. Right, the introduction, new EP available on all major streaming platforms, including the hot new feature, In My Bag. Quit renting energy and dealing with increasing rates. 
Get paid to go solar through federal and local tax credits. Own your energy. Add home equity. Fixed rates that will never go up. No money down. A vote of power. Now serving all of North and South Carolina. Tell them you've seen this ad on Key Pounder TV. They'll give you one year free. No payments. Be sure to contact the affiliate rep, Kevin Browns, at kbrown at avolta.us. His contact will be in the description. SeatGeek. For all your ticketing events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code Ladies, be sure to check out Tori Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Shoshana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Trishana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip-hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up! You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.